Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another video lesson in general mathematics. So for today's lesson, we are going to discuss rational functions, equations, and inequalities. So before we begin, let's start defining rational expressions. So rational expressions are expressions that can be written in the form of A over B, where A and B are polynomials and b must not be equal to 0. So, ayan. So, kapag 0 siya, so hindi siya bawal na bawal po, okay? Remember guys, bawal ang 0 sa denominator or bawal mag-divide sa 0 sa Tagalog kasi ang magiging sagot natin ay undefined, okay? So, sa rational, tatandaan lang natin rational ratio, so fraction siya. So, I-expect mo siya na fraction, okay? Kasi relationship siya ng dalawa, tapos sinusulat natin siya sa fraction. So, meron kang fractional form. Okay, so remember that is a ratio of two polynomials, in short. So, dapat yung numerator mo and denominator mo are both polynomials, okay? So, let's have... So, polynomials are expressions with... So, no negative exponent. Bawal po ang negative sa exponent. So, no negative exponent dapat. Also, no fractional exponent. Bawal ang fraction sa exponent. And no variable or expression inside a radical sign. Let's say this is a radical sign. Bawal magkaroon ng variable sa loob ng radical sign. And this no fractional exponent means bawal po ang exponent na fraction, kagaya nito. And bawal po ang negative na exponent, kagaya nito. So, those are the exemptions. Okay? So, you have to review your polynomials. Okay? Okay, let's move on. So, now let's start with example of rational expressions. We have 1 over y. So, dito, so 1 over y this is a rational expression because yung ating one is a polynomial. This we call that as a monomial, a constant monomial. And your y is also a monomial, okay? So these, are, these two are polynomial. That's why this is an example of a rational expression. Next one, we have x plus 5 or over, all over 3x minus 8. So yung ating x plus 5 is a polynomial. 3x minus 8 is also a polynomial. The third example, we have 2x plus 6 all over 1. So, for this example, yung ating numerator ay polynomial and ang ating denominator po ay also a polynomial, a constant monomial. So, ititreat na po natin siya as a rational expression because palagi siyang merong 1 dito. Kahit halimbawa 2x lang po yan, this is also a rational expression kasi meron ka dyang 1 sa baba. Okay? Now, let's have an uh, example of a not, these are not rational expression. On the other hand, the following example are not rational expressions. We have a square root of a over 4. So, this is not a rational because merong radical sign. The next one is x plus y all over the square root of x squared plus y squared. So, yung meron din nasa loob ng radical sign, yung ating expression, yung ating polynomial. Eh, hindi siya polynomial po, ano? Kasi nasa loob siya ng radical sign. So, this is not an rational, this is not a rational expression. Next, a raised to 1 half over a plus 2. So, this is a Diba? Ano to? This is a naka-exponent po. Okay? So, yung exponent po natin ay fraction. Therefore, this is not a polynomial. Therefore, this is, a this is not a rational expression. And last, we have b raised to negative 3 minus 8 all over 4. So, yung exponent ng b ay negative Therefore, this is not a rational expression. Okay? So, ganun lang po siya kasimple. So, this is not a rational expression. So, let's have this example. 1 over x, all over x plus 2. At the first glance, okay, 
So, mapapaisip agad tayo. Sir, uh, rational expression ba to? Or parang hindi, parang mali. Ano? So, tingnan natin kung ano ang mali dito. So, yung 1 over x natin, which is the numerator, cannot be considered as a polynomial. Therefore, this expression is not a rational expression. Okay? Because the numerator must, must be a polynomial. And also the denominator. Okay. But, we can do or we can apply algebraic simplification. So, we can divide. Okay. So, since this is your denominator, we just simply get the reciprocal of the denominator, right? So, the reciprocal of x plus 2 is 1 over x plus 2. So, take note that, that in dividing fraction, if we have 1 over x as our numerator, okay, and then we change the operation to multiplication, and then we get the reciprocal, 1 over x plus 2, and we can now proceed to multiplication of fraction. 1 times 1 is 1, x times x plus 2, yan na po siya, ganun lang po kadali. And, so what can you now observe? The example now is a rational expression because wala na siyang numerator na hindi polynomial. So ganun lang po kadali, ano? So, please take that. Okay, please keep in mind. Okay, so now uh, I, I have put the example on a table. So, linagay ko siya sa table para mas maintindihan nyo po. Okay, so for instance, uh, example number 1, 1 over y. So, this is a rational expression because this is a ratio of two polynomials such that 1 is a constant monomial. Okay, example number 2 naman x plus 5 all over 3x minus 8. This is also a rational expression because this is a ratio of two polynomials. Both are polynomials. Example number 3, 2x plus 6 over 1, also a rational expression. And take note that this polynomial is technically a rational expression. Diba? So, pag may over 1, technically rational expression siya because we typically think of them as having 1. So, meron siyang 1 na denominator as a variable. Okay? Meron siya palagi. Okay, so take note. Take note po. And these are example of not a rational expression. Yung nilagay natin, ano? explain lang ulit natin. Square root of a over 4. So this is not a rational because no numerator. Okay? Because the denominator is not a polynomial. Yung, yung numerator natin ay nasa loob ng radical. Example number 2. Okay, so the denominator naman, yung x squared plus y squared, is not a polynomial. Therefore, this is not a rational expression. Example number 3. A raised to 1 half all over A plus 2. This is not a rational expression because the numerator is not a polynomial because it has a fractional exponent. Okay? Fraction yung exponent ng ating variable. Example number 4, b raised to negative 3 minus 8 all over 4. This is not also a rational expression because negative po, okay, yung exponent ng ating variable. So now that we have that, let's take rational equation naman. So ano yung rational equation? So when we say equation, okay, it is an equation that contains one or more rational expression. So, makikita natin na meron siyang equal sign. Ini-equate mo daw yung mga expressions mo. Okay? Yung mga rational expressions mo. So, 3 over y plus 9 over 3y is equal to 10 over 15. So, makikita nyo agad na rational equation siya kasi meron siya meron siya nitong equal sign. Yan po. Example number 2, 2 over x plus 1 plus 3 over x minus 1 is equal to 12. This is also a rational equation because meron kang equal sign. Okay? Let's take rational inequality naman. Pakapag rational inequality, it is an inequality involving rational expression. So, 
what are this? It contains the inequality symbol. So, remember, yung ating inequality symbol, meron tayong less than, greater than, di ba? Yung ating greater than or equal or less than or equal. So, remember, ah, tandaan po natin. So, example, 3 over y plus 9 over 3y is greater than or equal to 10 over y. So, nakikita nyo, hindi na siya equal sign. Bagkos, ang nakikita na natin ay greater than or equal. So, inequality na siya. So, yung relationship ng ating rational expression is expressed in an inequality symbol. Sample number 2, 2x plus y over x minus 1 is less than 3x over x minus 1. So, ginamit naman dito is less than. Okay? So, ganun lang po siya kasimple. So, now, let's have a rational function. Yung rational function natin, it is a function of the form f of x, yung sa function notation natin, is equal to a of x over b of x, where a of x and b of x are polynomial functions, and b of x must not be equal to 0. Ayan po, ano? So, yung numerator mo rin at yung denominator mo must be a polynomial function. And such that, yung denominator mo, yung nasa baba ng fraction, bawal ulit maging 0. Okay? Yun yung palaging restriction natin. Bawal ang 0 sa denominator. Paulit-ulit lang po. And then, this f of x is simply your y. Okay? So, di, dalawa na. Okay? May y ka, tsaka may x. Kung napansin natin kanina sa mga previous example, uh, isang variable lang palagi. Yung x lang or yung y lang. Ngayon, meron ka ng y, meron ka pang x. So, this is an example. f of x is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1. Okay? So, example number 2. So, meron tayong f of x is equal to 1 over x squared. So, both the numerator and the denominator are a polynomial functions and hindi rin po zero yung denominator niya. Okay? So, that is rational function. So, now, let's have a practice. Okay? Let's exercise. So, for this one, 1 over y plus 5y is equal to 1 over 15. The next one is f of x is equal to 2x over x plus 6. So, the first example is an, what is this? This is a rational, this is a rational equation. The second example, this is a rational function. Third one, we have x plus 1 all over x minus 2 greater than 4x over x plus 2. This is a rational inequality because meron tayong inequality symbol. Example number 4, f of x is equal to 2x all over x plus 6. This is a rational function because meron kang f of x, which is also your y. So, as you can see, dalawa na yung ating variable. May y ka na, meron ka pang x. Okay? So, dalawa. Okay. So, example number 5, 2y plus 5 over 7y is greater than or equal to 4 over y. So, this is a rational inequality. So, to summarize, ito siya. So, example number 1, may equal sign, rational equation. Example number 2, f of x, rational function, relationship of two variable. May x ka na, ito yung f of x mo, yung y mo. Example number 3, rational inequality kasi may greater than sign. Example number 4, rational function because f of x device equal to 2x over x plus 6. This is a function. And example number 5, this is a rational inequality because mayroong inequality symbol and the, both are rational. Okay, rational expression siya. Therefore, this is a rational inequality. Okay, so that is all for today's video lesson. I hope you have uh, understand the relationship between a rational expression, a rational equation, rational inequality, 
and a rational function. Okay, so stay tuned, ano? Because we are going to have our lesson number six, which is about solving naman, okay? Solving rational equations. So, thank you so much, guys. So, please click subscribe, okay po? And you may hit the notification bell para updated kayo sa mga video lesson ni sir. So, thank you so much and God bless.